Hi, welcome back. It is still Dolzao's excerpt number two, KCSE, the year 2022. It is Literature Paper 101, Stock 03. In case you're coming across this work and this is your first time, the good thing that you can do here is to give it a thumbs up, subscribe. By subscribing and giving a thumbs up, you're supporting this work in one or the other number two. You're also bracing yourself or putting yourself in position whereby you will be updated easily with uh, the future uh, uploads and updates uh, concerning this particular work. So therefore, let's dig into it without wasting much time. We get to these excerpts number two from Adult's House, and it's highly likely to be tested. You're likely, uh, highly likely to be examined on uh, an, an excerpt, uh, especially for the candidates of this year. So, excerpt number two, Nora. But it was absolutely necessary that he should not know. My goodness, can't you understand that? It was necessary that he should have no idea what a dangerous condition that he was in. It was to me that the doctors came and said that his life was in danger and that the only thing to save him was to live in the South. Do you suppose I didn't try, first of all, to get what I wanted as if it were for myself? I told him how much I should love to travel abroad like other young wives. I tried tears and entreaties. With him, I told him that he ought to remember the condition I was in and that he ought to be kind and indulgent to me. I even hinted that he might raise the loan. That nearly made him angry. Christine, he said I was thoughtless and that it was his duty as my husband not to indulge me in any whims and caprices, as I believe he called them. Uh, very well, I thought you must be saved, and that was how I came to devise a way out of the difficulty. Miss Linde, and did your husband never get to know from your father that the money had come from him? Nora, no, never. Papa died just at that time. I had meant to let him into the secret and beg him never to reveal it. But he was so ill then, alas, there never was any need to tell him. Mrs. Linde, good heavens, no. How could you think so? A man who has such strong opinion about these things. And besides, how painful and humiliating it would be for Torvald, with his manly independence, to know that he owed me anything. It would be upset our mutual relations altogether. Our beautiful, happy home would no longer be what it is now. Miss Linde, do you mean never to tell him about it? Nora, meditatively and with a half smile yes someday perhaps after many years when i'm no longer as nice looking as i am now don't laugh at me i mean of course when toval is no longer as devoted to me as he is now when my dancing and dressing up and reciting have paled on him then it may be a good thing to have something in reserve breaking off what nonsense that time will never come now that now what do you think of my great secret a secret christine do you still think i'm of no use i can tell you too that this affair has caused me a lot of worry it has been by by no means easy for me to meet my engagements punctually i may tell you that there is something that is called in business quarterly interests and another thing called payment in installments and it is always so dreadfully difficult to manage them I have had to save a little here and there where I could, you understand? I have not been able to put aside much from housekeeping money for Torvald must have a good table. I could not let my children be shabbily dressed. I have felt obliged to use up all he gave me for them. The sweet little darlings. Uh, good students, that marks the end of that particular excerpt. You might pause within the video, re go through the, 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 the excerpt again this before you get to the question part. Uh, let's continue. Questions. Briefly describe what happens before the events in this excerpt. Now, question number one, especially in this particular part, you will be asked to place the excerpt in, it, in its immediate context. That is, before, during, and after. So those particular three aspects, during, before, and after. So in this one here, briefly describe what happens before the event. That is before these events here, what had happened. Mrs. Linde comments that a wife is not allowed to borrow alone. 
That is what had happened. Nora thinks if a woman is business-minded, it is in order to borrow. Christine does not agree. Nora conceals part of the loan transaction. Nora lies that he, she got that money from an admirer. Christine also thinks of her as, a, as mad and imprudent. That goes for three marks. Question two. State and explain any two aspects of side use in this extract. Flashback. Flashback. It is true through rather flashback that Nora reveals to Mrs. Linde how she borrowed a loan from Krogstad. Another style is flash forward or foreshadowing. Nora tells the readers about a time in the future. She says she'll disclose the secret to Helba when she gets old. This reveals the character of Nora as secretive. There is irony. It is ironical that Nora borrows money to cut her for expenses aimed at taking care of the health condition of Helma, yet she keeps it as a secret to Helma himself. Question 3. How is Mrs. Linde depicted in this extract? How is Mrs. Linde depicted in this extract? Mrs. Linde is depicted as being social. She engages Nora in a conversation that reveals Nora's secretive nature. Two, she's presented as critical. She thinks of Nora as imprudent for not informing her husband about the loan issue. She is all questions to Nora. Question four, what is the attitude of Mrs. Linde towards Nora and explain? What is the attitude of Mrs. Linde towards Nora and explain? Now, the attitude of Mrs. Lind towards Nora is sympathetic. She sympathizes with Nora, who has chosen to clear the loan debt all alone. And, I quote there, poor Nora. So, it has all had to come out of your own necessaries of life. Poor Nora. That goes for three marks. Question number five. Explain how the imprudence quote unquote, of Nora later complicates the events of the play. Explain how the imprudence of Nora later complicates the events of the play. Now, she signs the bond three days after her father's death. She forges her father's signature. Crockstad is to use it in the court as it is an illegality. He uses the issue to mount pressure to keep his job. He intends to use the prayers to blackmail Helma. Those are the consequences of the act of Nora had later in the play. Question number six. Who is a shadow character in a play? In this extract, identify one shadow character. What is his or her significance in the play? First of all, who is a shadow character? A shadow character is a character down the good students who is not present in the lifespan of the play for example, in this case, Papa. But his significance is in the plot development. Nora uses him to build her argument on injustices meted on women. Now, good students, that marks again the end of this excerpt number two in that particular order. We um, I'm, I'm yet to upload maybe two or three excerpts. And pay attention to these and maybe the next two uploads that I'm going to... Uh, share very 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 soon you never know and above all i just want to wish you the best in your endeavors good day for now